Getting things ready. <laughs> Can't believe this is part five already. Kind of like that I haven't been numbering them. It's kind of cool just to identify them by the sample that they had. These streams have been a lot of fun though. My last one was really good. I thought it turned out pretty good. I'm hoping, not even hoping, I'm determined to follow it up with something pretty good, but I'm definitely planning on finishing that Resident Evil 4 beat because I just really liked it. And I like the sample I had on it a lot. I'm going to do something like that with this uh, <clears throat> sample today. Which obviously is John Wick. I found this super awesome picture from the movie. They had these awesome red neon lights the whole time. Y'all know the deal. John Wick is just... They're going to paint it up to... Um, make it look super cool i mean it my name at one point was fenwick on the channel until i changed it because i kind of wanted to have my own identity but i mean i'm a fan of john wick like let's see if i can because i put my tag on a few of the beats on my channel so far but i haven't put the full original one I could find it. Here we go. Yeah, I just mixed uh, Jake from Adventure Time. And then that guy saying John Wick at the beginning of Chapter 2. It was like that Ru Russian clubhouse, I think. Yeah. But yeah, I've just been using Jake. But uh, I could use the Wick part at some point in this too. Um. Yeah. So I guess a few prerequisites is, by the way, so what I've been doing before the hour starts is I just lay out the sample and go ahead and make a, get stuff set up on my, I'm trying to pull it up here. My channel rack. Um, because I kind of try to do this in the background because I honestly just like the idea of it <clears throat> being the surface level, like the project I'm working on, but people watching, um, don't have to see all the like. The circuits behind the scenes, you know, even though you see a little bit of that on here. But yeah, that's what I do. I just set this up initially because I, I try to get a little mixing done in between when I'm streaming. I try not to just like, it has no mix at all on it. So sometimes when you hear me just repeat the beat, that's me just in the background working on some stuff. But if enough people end up watching this at some point in the future, Someone should just like leave comments and say if they want me to show all this stuff too. But I just think it looks better with the, that on there. Anyway, one other thing. <clears throat> this is actually 182 BPM, which is pretty fast, but there's a couple of reasons for that. First of all, in the movie, during the action scenes, they played all these sick dubstep, wubstep songs that were, you know, fast-paced and energetic to go with the, with the fights. And at the time you're watching, it's just like, oh, God, it's John Wick. But then, like, once you're out of the movie, you're like, dang. They just looked pretty cool with the lighting and the beats going hard. That's just like... I kind of wish I just had the movie to throw on now, but, uh, so yeah, I want to do a faster pace thing, but the sample that I'm using is a bit more orchestral. It's the sample that plays, it's called Helena Basket, I think, but it plays when, like, after the duel at the end, basically. I don't know, I guess I should not say spoilers so yeah i'll just leave it at that plays like at the end 
after some duel happens. But um, yeah, I just really liked the track when I was hearing it in the movie. Very orchestral, just choirs playing random strings and synths. I'll play it. It, it might be loud. Yeah, that's loud. Make that. But yeah, I'll play it to show you. Yeah, I mean, we could just like dig around here. But let's see. Um, but yeah, so it's 182 BPM. The other reason is um, I thought about that song and my feelings by Drake the other day. It just had a, a nice rhythm, and that that ends up being 182 BPM. So I've been trying to model the drums after other songs on here. So I'll keep in tradition. It helps with the time thing. But yeah, so let's see what we can make. Let me fix this. Okay. Um, wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna get a sip of water and then I'm gonna restart it. <laughs> One hour. Let's go. All right. So, like I usually do, I might do more stuff on the. Let me just do not say. Put in like a good snare or a rim. I don't know. I don't like those. The snares are a little too. I don't know. Let me keep looking. Ooh, okay. Let's try that. Get it in line. Make more changes to it later. Oh, yeah. Keep it going, though. That's a nice sound that cutting that sample is doing.
It's so cool, like the variation with these. Cause I always do this when I make drums, but it's just cool. Like this one in particular is really like flowing with the ability to chop it up. It's like 13 seconds. So. This is around 20. That's why at a certain point. I set the expectation that these are going to vary, so I kind of want to keep doing it a little bit at least. It might pay off. What if I like repeated this like Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Get this back in the fold. I might just repeat this from now on just because I am kind of using a lot of time on this. Two. 
This one was like a little after too, yeah. So that's like 30 seconds, but we could fix it. Let me see what time I'm at. Yeah, see, I figured that it would have been like 10 minutes so far. We haven't even listened to the sample, so let's get going. I don't need this anymore.
All right, first of all, this is coming together pretty good, but. <clears throat> I'm going to add some stuff to both of these real quick. hitting too hard but what if I put a clipper on it and then put an EQ Let's see what pattern.
Yeah. So I'm thinking. Here's where we go, adding the lo-fi generic sample voice thing, because that's where this is going to go in. I'm going to have to turn this up. <laughs> Obviously, this says loving husband. I'll read David. <laughs> um, I'll just say sample. If you saw the movie, you know what line this is. Took me a while to like find an audio clip to be able to get that. Channel routing, route that. Normalize sample. At some point before this is over, I have to add more hat or like. You always use hats, but I need to for this at least. I was. Yup, this is gonna work so good. This is literally gonna be perfect. That's what I want on my job. Loving husband. I didn't need to normalize it. That's what, hmm? Hmm? That's what I want on my job. Job loving husband, loving husband, loving husband. That's what I want on my job. Loving husband. 
that's what I want on my job. Loving husband. Just gonna copy this line for the line because we ain't got time. Loving husband.
I don't exactly like I feel like like this sounds better. Whatever's going on over there. Dude, I really need to it's a two. Oh my gosh. Gotta like have an end here.
So I'm just gonna obviously just copy and paste, but I'm gonna change it up a little bit as it goes. That could go on for a little another bar. Yeah, just real quick. I really should be putting this on the other screen. I I probably will in the future, but I really just gotta do this real quick. I'm running out of time.
what was that on? Just fresh air. Fucking get new hi hats. I'm like sitting here doing switches on one minute beats.
Retro color on, do I have enough time?
Turn off recording. What's the kick on? Oh, seven. Side chain. What, how much? 30 seconds. I got 30 seconds. Side chain. Let's go. Seven. Limiter. Limiter, limiter. Where are you? What? 17 seconds. Side chain. Um, anything? Is that it? Yep, that's it. Okay. Um, I definitely think I got it. Yeah, I got under a minute. That's what, that's the most important thing. Um, okay, so I guess to review, and I'll be switching between the John Wick screen and the 
project screen. This, come on, don't you guys just want to see this cool John Wick screen? I mean, look at it. They they shot this movie so good. Um. So yeah. It's, like I'm pretty happy from memory. See, we haven't listened through the whole thing yet. But I think it came out like pretty freaking cool. And the problem was there was so many ideas happening. I mean, look at all this stuff happened that happened in an hour. There's so much going on. There was already a switch, which somehow always happens when I make something. But I think I was still able to make something pretty cohesive. Like, like I keep saying with these beat challenges, this is like my candy store right here. These are just little 50 second. Ooh, oh, that's cool. And a little sample. Just see what it what happens with it i don't know i think they're pretty cool like um definitely the epicness of the orchestra track goes with john wick a lot um i think it'll probably end up going with this picture and yeah um what else i i feel like some of the samples stuff was a bit choppy over here we'll see how it turns out but that was, I had a little moment near the end where I was like, God dang it, no, I want to fix that, but I, I can't. I like the loving husband thing. I'm glad I was able to get that. Um, uh, I got the wick tag, so that's sick. Hopefully I did. I think I was able to side chain them in time, but I couldn't really mess with the settings on the limiter. So hopefully the kicks and the subs don't go over each other too much. I don't want to keep saying this as a trend for these beats, but this sounds like something I've finished. I, I think at the end of the day, if, if just one of these, like I'm thinking about doing it with my Resident Evil 4 beat, but if, if one of these starts getting like a big, some big traction, I'll definitely like have more motivation to actually finish these up. Um, but as you can see, able to do a lot in an hour. Um, if you haven't seen the movie, I would say go see it. It sucks that it's three hours long for sure. That's my biggest complaint because just being in the movies that long, you know, is can be a chore. But there were a lot of fun scenes in it, so I would recommend it. Uh, so I guess that leaves off the final. It, it's a ritual at this point. This is how I spend my Sunday evening. I'm going to. Listen to what I just worked on, comment on it, and then we'll close my mic, listen to it one more time, and that's the end. So, let's do it. It's pretty cool like i said i like how it came out this this is definitely one like the resident evil 4 one and it is kind of a flaw of, of this idea of just like the one hour thing but i mean the thing is it just it, it's fun that's all like it, it it gives a good window of the potential of some projects like this could end up being super cool if i put like 20 hours into it but you can't give everything that much time especially with how busy life is these days but but for what it is it's pretty cool uh we'll listen to it one more time and close out if anyone was watching thank you hope you enjoyed
Charles. Love me, Alice.